In the darkness of the forest, she comes on the prowl. Mowgli stops to listen as he hears the mighty crowd. In the jungle book, it's in the jungle book. In the jungle book, it's in the jungle book. Bagheera and Baloo are at the mancup side. In the jungle book, it's in the jungle book. In the jungle book, it's in the jungle book. Where's Bagheera gone now? You know how he likes playing tricks. I think he's hiding. <laughs> Look, he was here, Lolly. And here. And here. I think Bagheera crossed the river on that log. He hates getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll soon find him. Oh, what's that? Look, Lolly! It shines like the stars! Hey, you two! Remember me? Come and see what treasure Mowgli's found, Bagheera! Oh, I could have been hiding there all day for all you two cared. That's a man thing. I saw such riches when I lived at court. Do they really have such beautiful things? Oh, yes, they wear them everywhere. On their heads, Fingers, arms, even their toes. Do they wear them like this? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mowgli! <laughs> the more jewels humans wear, the more important and respected they are. Look at me! I'm Emperor Mowgli. <laughs> I'm Lord of the Jungle. <laughs> Whoa! Please, can I have a turn of the sparkly Mowgli? Afraid not, Lolly. I'm a man cub, so I must wear the man thing. Lolly, where are you going? <laughs> to see Baloo. I'm certainly not staying here just to watch Mowgli show off. Huh? <laughs> Make way for me, Lord of the Jungle! It seems your newfound treasure has created a problem, Mowgli. Why won't you share the sparkly with me, Mowgli? Why should I? I found it, so I'm wearing it. The sparkly thing must have drifted downriver from the place where man lives. It would be dangerous if humans came here looking for their treasure. Take it upriver and leave it in the human place where it belongs. I'll take it back sometime. No, Mowgli. Take it back now. Oh, Baloo. Please let me keep it. Just for one day. Then I promise I'll take it back. <sighs> oh, very well. Just for a day. Mm. You must share it with Lolly. Agreed? All right. She can have it later. <laughs> <laughs> I am Mowgli, Lord of the Jungle. You're only jealous because you haven't got a sparkly. Oh, what's that, Mowgli? My sparkly. Do you like it? No. Oh, it's too bright. Ouch, it hurts my eyes. I thought everybody would like my sparkly. <laughs> What is that gorgeous thing? Do you like it, Carl? Oh, I love it. Hey, my sparkly's hypnotized Carl. <laughs> that goes to show how special it is. <laughs> It's my turn to wear the sparkly now, Mowgli. Oh, I haven't finished with it yet, Lolly. Mowgli, you've had it long enough. There. Look at me. I'm a beautiful empress. <laughs> Don't lose it. <laughs> oh, I thought that flashy thing belonged to Mowgli. Mowgli and I are taking it in turns to wear it icky. I wouldn't want to wear such a big, heavy, flashy thing. Better be off. Things to do, people to see. Oh, 
Ai, que... Oh. I see you like my sparkly cup. Oh, yes. <gasps> You're hypnotized by it. Wake up, car! The sparkly's gone. No, you needn't shout, young lady. You gave me quite a fright. <laughs> Sorry, car. You were in a world of your own. Oh, take a look at that amazing shiny thing. Wow! <laughs> I want it! I want it! Oh. I'll wrap the sparkly around your paw while you sleep, Lolly. Oh, I wish I could keep it forever and ever. Oh. Ah, don't wake her up. What do you mean it disappeared in the night? I had it when I fell asleep, but it was gone when I woke up. You lost it when you were showing it off in the jungle. No, Mowgli. Lali's telling the truth. I put the sparkly around her paw before she went to sleep. See? I say <sighs> good riddance to bad rubbish. Now, could you two please try to be friends again? Oh, give it here! I found it! The sparkly! I took it from the wolf cup! Who cares? I'm having it! <laughs> They're fighting over the sparkly, just like me and Lolly. Lolly, I've just seen the bandalog playing with the sparkly. The cheeky things took it from me. I'm sorry I was so mean to you, Lolly. Don't worry about it, Mowgli. Let's just go and get the sparkly back. <laughs> Come on, you foolish monkeys. Drop the thing. Look, Lolly. There they are. <sighs> Company. What a happy coincidence. <laughs> You'll have to catch me first. It's too good for you. It looks better on me. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, we are going to get the sparkly off those monkeys. Bandalog throwing away such a treasure. Shere Khan! Pretty thing, eh? It's us! <laughs> if you want it, you'll have to take it from me, wolf cub. <laughs> Leave it, Nani. The sparkly's not worth it. <laughs> I'll teach you. Catch, Lolly! <laughs> So, you want to play games, eh? Leave her alone! Fight me instead! <laughs> With pleasure, man cub! Uh, have it! She's throwing it away! Grab it! Quick! Before the tiger gets it! <laughs> Finish you off, man cub. You're not having the sparkly. It's ours. You fools! I don't want the sparkly. I want the man cub. I'll bite your heads off if you don't get off. <laughs> You'll have to reach us to bite us. <laughs> You'll never come back from! Quickly, let's find the sparkly before they come back! 
No, Lolly. Let's leave it. I found it. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. What's and for all? I hope we never see the sparkly again, Lolly. You're right, Mowgli. Let the humans have it. We're far better off without man things. Now, Mowgli, if you want to do a truly terrifying roar, you just throw your head back and let it out. All right, Pigira, I've got it. <laughs> you have to do better than that, Mowgli. You wouldn't even scare Darzee with that roar. What? I'm quite brave, actually. <laughs> oh, um, sorry, Darzee. Now, try again, Mowgli. And this time, put your lungs into it. All right, I'll give it a try. Most impressive. But that wasn't me. <laughs> Baloo, who do you think made that sound? You must know, Baloo. You know everything. Well, uh, there is only one creature who could have made that sound. Huh? Giant Claw. Giant Claw? Claw? Who's Giant Claw? Oh, please tell us about Giant Claw, Baloo. Please, please. Very well. <clears throat> For many years, the creatures of the jungle have whispered tales of a mysterious creature. He lurks somewhere beyond the trees in the deep, dark jungle. Some have heard his howl echo through the night. But not a soul has ever seen him. So why is he called Giant Claw? Because once a paw print was found as huge as a boulder with four giant claws. Whoa. I want to see this Giant Claw. Oh, beware, man cub. Legend has it that Giant Claw is bigger and more dangerous than a tiger. What? More dangerous than a... I mean, how? No, I mean who? But I'm the king of the jungle. But, Baloo, it, it could just be a story. Maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Just remember, the imagination is more powerful than anything you'll find in the jungle. I bet we could find Giant Claw. We wouldn't have to try too hard. He's out there somewhere, Bagheera. Let's go! Well, I suppose we could have a quick look. Great! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we're going the right way, Bagheera? Yes, I think we are. It's Giant Claw, and we're really close. Maybe we should go back to Baloo. Oh, no. I want to be the first to find Giant Claw. <laughs> Chill! It's you! Chill's cry must have been echoing through this log. <laughs> it was nice and cool in there. Sorry to have disturbed you, Chill. Go back to your shade. Hmm. Let's go and tell Baloo that Giant Claw is only Chill squawking in a log. Thank <laughs> you. 
close. But what about Shiel? If Sheer Khan corners him in that log, he'll swallow him in one gulp. You're right. We need to save him. I've got a plan. Meet me at the big boulder. Yeah, but... I'll be there as soon as I can! So, giant claw, we meet at... Hey! Shere Khan! Hey! Shere Khan! Feeling hungry? <laughs> on the other side, and then I will fill my belly with man-cub. Shere Khan will be here at any moment. Quick, help me move this boulder. If Shere Khan will be here any moment, wouldn't it be a good idea to run? No. We've got to make Shere Khan think that Giant Claw is here. But how is all this going to do that? Remember what Baloo said? The paw print as huge as a boulder with four giant claws. Oh, I see. You're going to use the power of his imagination against him. Exactly. And I need you to hide behind that bush. Once Shere Khan sees the footprint, I need you to make a howling sound. Just like Chill makes. I'll do my best. You just need something to make your roar bigger. <gasps> This'll be perfect. All right, now you get behind the bush and we'll wait for Shere Khan. Run, Shere Khan! It's Giant Claw! He's here! No. Why would you say that, man cub? Because he is! <laughs> Have you seen the footprint? Footprint? Hmm. Giant claw is big indeed, man cub. But I always like an appetizer before a large meal, and my stomach is starting to rumble. No time to eat me, Shere Khan. He's here! Giant claws, here! Enough of this nonsense. <coughs> What's that? I told you, it's Giant Claw. Although I thought he'd be louder and deeper. <coughs> Bagheera, where is he? Oh, help! Ah, ah, ah. Bagheera! Bagheera! It's got me! Ah. Here he comes now! Help! Giant Claw has got me! Ah. We have to run! <laughs> you should have seen his face. <laughs> so, the adventure seekers have returned. If only you knew. <laughs> I can't believe Cheel is still doing that. Huh? You knew it was Cheel all along. 
<laughs> I thought it would be a great opportunity for a lesson about the power of the imagination. You, but uh, I can't believe you did that! <laughs> it's not funny! Mm, all right. Maybe it's a bit funny.